Hey guys, today I'm going to try and replace the flushing pad on the Epson F2100 by using a F3070 flushing pad. There's no real reason you should do this. You should be replacing this every single time you replace the cleaning head. The main reason I'm doing this is because you get a new one of these whenever you buy the cleaning head kit. And you, like I said, you should replace them with that. And I already went ahead and replaced mine. That's why I have this here. But you can't buy these standalone. So say, like me, I forget to clean them out, rinse them out after every time I use it. The ink kind of builds up here. And yeah, it can get through, but blues kind of get all thick and it's just messy. So essentially I found the Epson F3070 pads you could buy individually. And here's one, they come in sets of two for about $20. But my thought is you could probably get two pads out of one of these. It doesn't look too hard to take apart. It's just held down by this metal grate with a couple of tabs on the side here. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you guys. So what I'm using is just parts from an iFixit kit. Really, you could probably just get away with a flathead screwdriver, but, but this little wedge tool is kind of helpful. It has some flex to it, as well as this little pick piece might be a little useful. So essentially what we are doing is trying to pop these little tabs out from their plastic retainers and it's held down in four places. So I think if I just, yeah. So if you just get underneath that and bend it away from the plastic edge while pushing down, it's gonna click outwards. Let's see if the other one's as easy. So there's one side and you can see it's already opening up. And let me do the other real quick. Yeah, so just like that, it opens up. And one thing I do wanna note, it is directional. So this does go in a certain direction because of these. It will only go in this way. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna put this on the side. Another thing is this is not a rectangle. This is actually, it looks like the state of Kansas. It has a little cut out of the top here. So. What I'm going to do is essentially replicate that cut on this new pad. So, gotta get this one out. Yeah, and, and that one's just as easy, so. Seems to be the same material. This one also has a cut, but I'll cut my own here. I think I'm just gonna cut it out like this, perhaps. Like so, I have a new pad. Should be pretty much identical. And again, I can cut a, another one out of here in a second, but for now, you can see that's where the tab, the little corner bit gets cut out here. So make sure you line that up with that. And it fits perfectly. Once you do that, this should just click back in. You shouldn't have to do this. You shouldn't be doing this. It's just something I thought maybe you just let the ink sit too long and it's clogged up and it's not time for the head cleaning kit. Instead of spending about 100 bucks on the whole kit, you can just spend 20, get a couple extra one of these to sit around. So moving forward, you should probably just rinse this out after every time you use the machine or daily or whatever. Um, it is a water-based ink, I believe. So if you rinse it out, it should come out pretty cleanly um, and you wouldn't have that issue with the ink getting cut up. So all in all, I hope you learned something, Epson. Please don't come after me for this. It's just something I noticed and I thought I'd give it a shot. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care.